what actually makes the observatory alive is of course software and for also firmware controlling the telescopes deciding where to point at um, monitoring the state of the telescopes ensuring availability and then subsequently of course also delivering the scientific results to the scientists we built everything we built all these telescopes all the infrastructure so we can get the best possible data Gata software is acquiring data a huge amount of data 300 petabytes a year that we will manage to reduce to three petabytes a year so our data is really important for CTAO because all of the scientific results, of course, will be based on the data we record. So uh, having this large volume of raw data that needs to be processed and analyzed so the astronomers can actually interpret the raw data we took requires a lot of effort. What we are, we are doing during the last weeks is to perform an integration test of the ACADA software together with the LST uh, prototype. The LST-1 is the prototype telescope of uh, LSTs for CTA Observatory in the north, and you can see it uh, on my back. The telescope was inaugurated in 2018, and since then we are uh, in commissioning phase. We are validating and verifying that the telescope uh, works as we would like it to work, so that we can deliver it to the CTA Observatory. The first of the two campaigns, uh, we went to La Palma uh, to try out the specific interfaces of the different uh, subsystems. A group of the software developers from the LST telescope and from the ACADA team have been testing the specific software versions and the integration of them to, to operate together. Of course, it is a very important step for, for everyone. It is the, the theory, the ACADA uh, software development is meeting the, the real life, the, the telescope. We could complete uh, all of the envisioned tests, uh, interface tests during that campaign as we, as we had planned and we were very happy that we succeeded that in, in that first campaign preparing the ground and for the second campaign uh, a couple of weeks later. The second campaign is more uh, checking, uh, verifying the, uh, how system behaves as a whole, our integrated system of um, both components. The testing campaign is going very well. Last night, for the first time with the CTAO control software, we could see the Crab Nebula, which is always the first big achievement for a new gamma ray telescope. So far, we managed to control the camera how it should with the rest of the telescope, and we managed to record uh, some data, and so this is a very good uh, step forward. The fact that we are here on site makes it very easy to interact uh, to solve the problems very fast so if we find some minor problems we can solve right away. For us it's a huge achievement, it's a kind of culmination point for, for the team. Of course during the testing uh, we found some little issues. If you don't have issues then you don't have results to analyze. <laughs> this is how we learn, this is how we progress. We have been preparing the ACADA software for several years, it has been very hard work. And it is very, very rewarding to see that everything is working very well with the LST telescope. The telescope alone is already a technological challenge, but uh, we can only reach our scientific purpose and, and meet our goals if we can operate the telescopes together as one of the human. Now in the observatory, we are with the construction of the new telescope, with the construction of LST 2, 3 and 4. We need to plan how ACADA uh, will be operating with multiple telescopes, in, uh, how it will be working with different sites uh, and how the user interface will be uh, adjusted for this. Of course now the work really starts. There are several more releases for ACADA that will progressively add functionality in your features, improve the performance, and uh, that will keep the team busy for the next several years.